I'm trying to do everything at one time. I'm not really good at that, although you know what, I try. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody to RX Live. My name is Rick Redford and I have a special guest with me who's going up here in 30 seconds. There we go, there we go. I don't know why my computer is doing this now. This is driving me crazy because we'll have to figure this out. Anyway, welcome to RX Live, Rick Redford. I am the host and I have my good friend and associate, Dan Cauley. Hey everybody, welcome to RX Live. Good to be with you guys. Perfect, and as you Who's know- that handsome dude? Oh, that's Rick Redford. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Wow. All right, we're having a hard time here. Okay, I'm gonna go back. My name is Rick Redford. I'm area director for North America. Happy to be your host on the call as I normally am. And uh, I wanna thank Anthony again for being the co-host and welcoming people onto the call. And a couple of bits of announcements. So on November 14th at noon mountain standard time is our virtual red carpet event. This is the recognition event. <clears throat> so all of you, please, please, please write this down on your calendar. We're gonna be recognizing all of the title advancements from last event, which was a year ago, September. Wow. And uh, so there'll be a lot of recognition and vision award winner for this year, the partners council and many other things. So please join us. There will be a special incentive that's launched during that event only that anyone can win. So you wanna be on there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And dress to the dress to the nights. I mean, have fun with this. Also now available in your AOR catalog is the virtual GoPro event that's happening in December. I will give you those dates, December 11th and 11th through the 13th. And uh, this is normally an in-person event, but it's gonna be incredible. If you haven't heard about this, it is multiple screens like hundreds and hundreds and thousands of screens at one time, 360 degrees and on top. It is gonna be an event like you cannot believe. It's crazy. Cool. They built this facility just for this event, spent over $20 million. Holy cow. Yeah, so it's the wave of the future. It's gonna be very cool. And you can buy those tickets through your ARR points, which is kind of a first. Just a reminder about, reminder about probiotics. If you wanna be a regular guy, a regular gal, you wanna be on the probiotics. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's a great product, awesome product. One of my favorite new products. My wife and I are both taking it and needless to say, you're regular. We're regular people. Wow. Yeah, it's great. I know, right? All right. Also, during the month of October, you still have another 11 days. Optimal V and Optimal M. What? They're never on loyalty. It's a great time to stock up for the winter time. So if you haven't, be sure to go on. Also, Lucim, the new product line. We had a call today with um, our partners council and Ife, who was one, uh, one of those that developed this product line. And she wanted to find out what the feedback was from the, the market, even after a week. You're gonna hear uh, from one of our leaders today about this product and what she's seen in, the, in a week, but this product line is so great. If you have not tried it, you need to try it. This is so awesome. And Lucim is the wave of the future. I will tell you that it's, it's a, a fantastic line. And also during this month alone, you have an opportunity to get the Home Detox product on loyalty shopping, either as an individual product and or in the five pack. My daughter had a, a new baby. Uh, in fact, this Friday will be two weeks old. And she, we, she was quarantined for a week. We got a chance to see the, the new uh, grandson on Sunday. I sprayed my body down before I went over there, like literally misted all of my clothes, my shoes, my hair, everything. I rubbed myself down and I felt like really ready to go over there and to protect my grandson. So. Uh, I think that there are multiple, multiple, multiple uses. If you didn't hear Deanna on this uh, call a couple of weeks ago, she talked about it. You need to have home detox it, everywhere. Your car, your house, your office. We don't have it over here on our desks. I was spraying myself down all day today with it. You were? Okay, great. Oh, just, um, yeah, there you go. I didn't smell you, so it must have worked. Yeah. Okay. Kills 99.99% .99 of my odor. So. I don't even, I don't even smell I'm sitting here. It's amazing. So um, RX success Monday afternoon, April, are you getting a kick out of this? I hope. Um, 
RX Success with Robert Allen, 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time every Monday afternoon. This is a great call. If you, again, if you have not taken part in this, it's a call to action. We have a lot of fun. Robert is so, so, so good. So I know he's on the call tonight, Robert. Thank you for doing this on Monday afternoons. When have you ever had been able to a million? That's the same one. Yeah, that's the same guy. I got his book. There you go. Hey, Robert, next time you're in, you got to sign this for, for yes. Dan. Huge fan. Yeah. Huge fan. So definitely we'll need to, to do that. And um, while you're at it, bring another one for me, right? Oh, there yeah. You go. Okay. So let's talk about, look at what. <laughs> so last week, if you were on this, you know that we forgot to list the Canadians. So <laughs> sponsored by our friends in Canada. Wow. Recognition today. <clears throat> so go, eh? I know. All right. So new team leads and we're featuring Canada tonight. Pierre Lagrange from Quebec. Diane D.F. Filteau 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 from Quebec. Mustafa Ahmad Obiandun from Ontario. And we're going to go senior team lead senior next. Team. So we're going to we're going to do Canada from a week ago that we left at we left off first, and then we'll go. Out? Yeah, li we lift it out or left it out. Lift lift it out. Lift it out. So oh new senior team leads. I'm sorry, Canada. We probably just offended the whole nation with that one little. Thing. They're used to okay. me. They're very used, used to me. Okay. Yeah. Leonard Graham from British Columbia. Dion Hill from Saskatchewan. From Saskatchewan. Yeah. Vincent Fournier from Quebec. Where do you go, Vincent? Martin Bellinger and Carl Wilkie from yeah. Quebec. Nancy Cheng from British Columbia. Awesome. The title of supervisor, Julie Turcotte from Quebec. Mario Jacome from Ontario. Jo Johan Dossel from Quebec. Dusty. Dusty? Oh, Dusty. Dusty. From Quebec and new senior supervisor. Remember, these are from the week before, and then we'll highlight the ones from this week as well. New senior supervisors: Giovanna Carlinotto from Ontario, Chantal Bed Bedard from Quebec, Tara C. E. Sheffens from Ontario, Isabel Tricotti from Quebec. Awesome, and new senior manager from last week, Marie France. Savard from Quebec. And a brand new vice president, Wen Yu Shi from Ontario. All right, let's wow, hear it for those that we inadvertently left off, lifted off last yeah. week. So congratulations, awesome. Now, this week, new team leads. Notice we have the Canadians on this week. I know Angela's listening in, so there you go. Holly and Michael Graves from California. Kevin Foster from Texas. Victor Hernandez from Utah. Yasmina Johnson from California. Azucena <clears throat> Almedo from South Carolina. Antonio Turan from Texas. Mark Kidman from Massachusetts. Abner Guarino from California. Sheila Silviera from California. Porsche, oh, that's my favorite name, by the way, of anybody that we've read so far. <laughs> Porsche Alston from California. Dan Pennington from Nebraska. Good job, Dan. Clyda Heacock from Kansas. Jennifer and Lance Iohenes, Iohens from Wyoming. Uh, Julie Bailey from New Mexico. Yancey Baker from Texas. And Donna Ford from Alabama. And from Canada, Shelly Miller from British Columbia. Maria Lourdes Caldera Brites from British Columbia. That might be my new favorite name. <laughs> Jamie Cote from British Columbia. Let's hear it for our new team leads. And as I say every week, and I, I just highlight this because it's so meaningful, the team lead is really step one in the development, in your development, in your journey with RX. And so, you know, it may seem like a small thing to some people, but you know what? It's a masterful thing because it's the first step. And you got to hit the first step before you get yeah. the second step, right? Yeah, absolutely. So congratulations, our new team leads. New senior team leads. Angela Edsmont from Miss Michigan. Michelle Cook from uh, Iowa. Iowa. Leslie Griffith from New York. Pamela Garcia Jackson from Texas. Joseph Ariola from California. Raymond Martinez from New York. Eva Ferguson from Arkansas. 
Francisco and Ana Barrera Grajeda from California. I like that name. Lindy Weaver from Texas. Emmanuel Octoline from New York. Joe Gorbach from Michigan. Jeffrey Mail from Texas. Linda Jordan from Colorado. And um, Jean Wan Yang from New York. Yeah, we're good. Jean Wan Yang. Also from. Oh, go for it. Hey, James, if you could mute yourself. Sorry. <clears throat> Perfect. From Canada, Ching Wao Ji from British Columbia. Joanne Rigal, Rigal from uh, Alberta. Charles Fizette, Quebec. Lynn Marie Germain from Ontario. Darcy Penman from Alberta. And Kim Lahai from Quebec. Awesome. Thanks, Ian Lees. Well done, well done. Excellent job. Beautiful. Uh, sorry, okay, we're getting there. New supervisors. Monica Sanchez from California. Christina Navarro from California. Luis Seyuanibang from California. That was wow. perfect pronunciation. So, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lua, if I blew it. I'm yeah. so sorry. By the way, anybody that I have butchered your, your name in my we, pronunciation, yeah. I just apologize. My name's been butchered for years, so it's okay. I feel your pain. Dan? Yeah, no, Collie. Oh, Collie, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Ama Amadeo Rivera Garcia from California. Denzel Fernandez from California. Jillian Cruz from Florida. Carolyn Jones from North Carolina. James Lynn from Alabama. Lindsay Massey from Mississippi. Beverly Bean, Arkansas. And Marie Claude Tremblay from Quebec. And Xingxi Zhang from British Columbia. New supervisors, well Great done. Job. Congratulations, guys. Love this. New senior supervisors. Okay. Ronald White from Alabama. Liana Butt from North Carolina. Sherry Ann Mangligot from California. Kristen Burns from Arkansas. LLC La Veda Malou from Washington. Chris Schwartz from Missouri. Yep. John Jeswak, Jeswak from Cal Colorado. And Melanie Britt from Arkansas. Gilles Pelletier from uh, Quebec. Way to go, Gilles. Yes, congratulations. Awesome. Miriam La Labrec. Labrec. La Labrec from Quebec. Arnon Desorgier from Quebec. And Chao Mei Shi from British Columbia. Well done. Congratulations, congratulations new senior supervisors. And new managers, which again, we're, we're now. As a manager, you really started to create a, a really good um, side hustle or secondary income, mm -hmm. and it's starting to be pretty meaningful. So, you know, education, a car payment, a house payment. Yeah. yeah. That's so it's life changing, actually. Absolutely. Wow. Christian Guadalupe Zambrano from mm -hmm. Nevada. Sean Nakamoto from Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, we need to go and personally give yeah, him this, this needs award. To be a yeah. hand delivered. Hand delivered award. Yes, of course. Absolutely. Jing Lin from New York. Yeah. Cynthia Hamill from Quebec. Here go our new managers. Congratulations. That's awesome. New senior managers. Lisa Marchese from California. And Zing Ching Zhang from British Columbia. That might be my new favorite name. There you go. <laughs> I like that. Well done. New, nice, well done, new senior managers. Perfect. Good job. Now, and, and what I talk about with directors is directors getting to be to the point where you're really starting to think, okay, this is getting significant. This could become my primary income, or it is enough to, to replace my uh, income. And certainly you're making some life uh, improvements at this point in time. It's awesome. Yeah. You start to walk around work with a little bit more attitude, right? Lighter, you're a little, yeah, you're a little yeah. less intimidated by your boss because, hey, this thing's starting to work out pretty good. Amen. So, yeah. I like it. Perfect. Michael and Lisa Gidry from Virginia. Way to go, Michael and Lisa. Good job. And Geraldine Ta Tomasita from California. Well done. Nice job. Way to go. New directors. That's so, so awesome. Tomista. I think Tomista. I totally you, said that wrong. You might Tomista. have said it wrong. Yeah. I am. All right. Yeah. I went with the... Geraldine, I apologize Geraldine on behalf Tomista. of... <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <clears throat> New senior directors. Garrett Tuggle from Arkansas. Way to go, Garrett. Oh, the one and only. Yeah. I'm guessing Definitely that's he's only. related to Richard Tuggle. I'm guessing. 
Ah, may not be, but, but can, and from Arkansas too. Yeah. Put two and two together. Congratulations, we'll Garrett. Well done. New senior director. New vice president. This is a big deal. Vice president wow. is a very big deal. Yes. Not that the rest of them are not. <laughs> but Rosemary O'Connor from California. Way to go. Job, Rosemary. Deb Pure from British Columbia. Deb, way to go. That is so awesome. I've had a chance to interact a lot with Deb and, and been in a number of meetings that she's been at. And both of you, congratulations. Well Deb, nice job. Awesome. New senior vice president. Now it's getting fun. Bienvenido Perez. That's actually Bienvenido. Bienvenido, Bienvenido Perez. Perez. Thank you. Perez. And Crystal Harrison from Texas. Crystal, way to go. Crystal's only been with us for like four and a half, five months. Holy cow. And a new vice president. Senior That's vice so president? senior wow. vice president. Well done. Crystal, way to go. Um, she's going to be a testimonial on another call. She couldn't do it tonight, but I think we'll nice. get her next week. Nice. Well done. Way to go. All right. Dan, thank you for hey, participating. Thanks, well done. That was lots of fun. It I, is fun, right? I feel like this could be like a second gig for me. It like, is. To just it, read people's names. It's actually going to be your primary <laughs> gig sooner than later. So <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, everybody. Have a good night and enjoy the call. Thank awesome. you for letting me be part of this. Cool. Well, it's my opportunity. And will you, Deanna Angelis, text? Will you, do you have her phone number? So, yes. you know, will you text her to, to text Fred to make sure Fred's on? Okay. I don't know if he is. Okay. And Anthony, look for uh, Dr. Fred Cooper if you can. Let me know when he comes on. So I'm going to take a few minutes and share with you. Um, some of you may have received already the new upgraded version of Vinali. And I, first of all, want to express the apology that we did not have this communication, nor did we have a statement that went out ahead of time to kind of inform you of the amazing upgrades that are happening in Vinali. And so if you got it, it looked a little darker and you might've said, oh my gosh, something's wrong with my Vinali. But let me give you some ideas about why this is an upgraded formula. First of all, for those of you who are unaware of Vinali, Vinali is part of our Nutrify line. It's one of our top selling products and has been for years. It is for heart, eyes, lung, and skin. Provides free radical perfect protection. In fact, um, a lot of people, when they feel an illness coming on or a cold or something coming on, they literally mass mass taking of Vinali. It's like becomes a snack, you know. And one of the things about Vinali is that you can mega. I hate to use the term dose because it's a nutritional product. Let's call it mega serve. Um, but in 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 this case, you can do that. So a lot of people, when they feel a cold coming on, will will um, just throw down a bunch of vitamin C. Vinali is that kind of product. In fact, we've increased the, num the amount of all vitamin C, and I'm going to tell you right now in what form and how much. It supports the immune system. A lot of people who've had inflammation with a sprained ankle or, or an injury have mega dose, mega served Vinali because of its value in promoting cell health and skin elasticity for hair, skin, and nails. I started taking Vinali and I can barely keep up with trimming my nails. It's just crazy how fast they grow. And look at my hair. I'm 105 and look at how long my hair is. Um, no, I'm kidding. Anyway, I, it, it really does. It makes for healthier hair. I had my uh, hair trimmed recently and my um, gal that does my hair, she said, I, I don't know what you're doing differently. I mean, your hair's always been thick, but I, I can't believe how much thicker it is this time. And I said, it's this product I'm taking called Vinali. So anti-aging benefits. Again, I'm 105. Look great. Um, come on, Anthony, smile. That was funny. Um, supports whole body wellness. So really in summary, helps support cardiovascular, cardiovascular health, promotes brain, skin, and eye health. And it's a very, very, very potent antioxidant. So what did we do differently? What's what are the, the positives that we have made in upgrading this formula? Number one, went to veggie caps. So all of our Nutrify products over the next number of months are going to go to the veggie cap. What that means is it is a 100% fully vegan vegetarian product. Also, one of the things that's not on here, it is halal and kosher. Oh, it is on here. Halal and kosher certified which is a big plus. And we are moving towards this with many of our products. This was one of the first. So for those of you who are working within those markets, that is a huge plus. 
Um, the vitamin C we've increased from 300 milligrams to 310 milligrams. And the vitamin C comes from a couple of different sources. I'm gonna tell you this. It comes from green pepper or capsicum, which is a whole food form. Also in, I don't think it's Alma, I think it's, it's pronounced different than that, but it's Alma fruit extract. And that is a very potent whole food source of, um, of vitamin C. So that's awesome. Anthony, I, Fred says he's on, so um, if you could find him, just make him co-host. Perfect. So he can unmute himself when the time comes. Perfect. Also, grape skin extract. We have 30 milligrams of new grape skin extract as well as grape seed extract. So this is a fully upgraded formula. The veggie caps are kind of clear. So what you're seeing through the veggie cap is the, all of the ingredients inside. That's why it looks a little darker. So for those of you who received that without this information, I apologize, but Merry Christmas. It, it, you know, Happy New Year. It is a upgraded formula that you now have. And um, we are going to feature some information. There's going to be an email that goes out. There's also going to be on our social media, some upgraded information. So, but guess what the best news is? No upgrade in the cost. It costs the same, same PV, same cost as you were paying for before. This is one of those rare um, occasions that we've been able to upgrade the formula at no additional cost to you. So again, Merry Christmas, happy birthday. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know how to say many of those things in different languages, or I would do that for you. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you tonight and just my enthusiasm for it. First of all, this is one of my top go-to products anyway, but now with the upgraded formula, it is truly a go-to product. And, and every time I see here, I feel a sniffle coming on or, or a cold or, or whatever I, I feel kind of down or something, I just pop Vinali. And uh, I know the serving size is, I think, three to four. I believe I might be off on that. Please don't quote me. I will triple quadruple that during the day. So I'll take half of a quadruple in the morning and the other half uh, later in the day or in the evening. So anyway, wanted to share that with you tonight. Hopefully uh, those of you who did receive it, uh, you now know why and you can go, whoa, I'm excited. I don't have to return it because it's not defective. It's improved. All right. So we have a combination transformation story and kind of a business confidence testimonial tonight, someone I really, really admire. But look at this. This is like after one week of the new Lucim. Look at the difference. That is unbelievable. So chairperson um, was really like the first, or one of the first anyway, um, I don't want to misquote that, but she can tell us, and she can correct me, uh, that joined Nucerity and now is a part of the RX family and part of the Nucerity tribe within the RX family and the New Age family. So please welcome from Canada, from our very own Canada, TL Buckberger. TL, are you there? Hello, sexies. How are hey. you, Rick? How are you, handsome? <laughs> You're doing great. And we're excited to have you on the call tonight. Oh my gosh. Isn't that a crazy picture? I know, right? And that's like, tell us, tell us about that. That's like one week, right? No, actually, um, that's a month. Oh, a month. I'm, I'm so sorry. <sighs> that's okay. There's lots of transformations so far out there with Valerie and Kathy doing one day and one weeks. And I decided I wanted to know what the transformation would be if I ordered the Lucium kit and used it for the entire month and put it on an auto ship. As in, I wanted to be able to use, see if I could use it all up within the month. So I waited and it was hard to wait. <laughs> and <I didn't> wait. <laughs> but I went through um, an entire skin, total face serum and uh, a day cream and a night cream in that month. So I'm really happy about that because when you talk to people who want to make a big transformation in their skincare, you can tell them that they definitely can go through all of these products. And for us as reps, that's a really great uh, reorder business that you can have knowing that your customers or your new reps can go through their their entire skin serum line and moisturizers in the month. And if you are heavy handed now with your current 
skincare and you're going to be switching over, you're going to be very happy and surprised at how far a little goes a long way. It's incredible. So I, I know there are some people that like to put their serums on their fingers and then put it on their face. I didn't want to waste it. So I'll, I'll, I, I'm sort of like that whole thing about the rollerball, just lay back and roll. Well, this serum, I just pump it right on my face and then just sort of um, not massage it in, but just sort of like smooth it out so that it's like a layer, a shiny layer, and then let it wick in or dry down. Mm. As, um, some of the ladies who are very well versed in their skincare education, because you want your skin to feel like a sponge that it's, it's soaking in the, in the nutrition. Plus the peptides in this line are very delicate. So if you rub really hard, you're going to disrupt the liposome technology. And so you want to be very gentle with your skin first off, but you want to be even more gentle with your product. So light finger touches and just move the product around and let it wick in and do its job. So I usually do two little pumps on, on each cheek, a big line up my neck from my clavicle to my neck, and then just a little bit on, on my forehead. And I went through an entire serum bottle in the month. And I want to do my hands now. <laughs> two bottles. <laughs> right? So maybe there's going to be an opportunity for us to like have an autumn ship where you have two bottles of serum because then it his and hers. And I still have over half of my Lucium gel. So the gel cleanser, and I was using it for sure twice a day sometimes three times a day, depending if I uh, went and did the stairs or had some exercise or was out gardening or whatever. So don't be afraid to use your cleanser. As it face says, it's really important to keep your skin very clean, especially if you're struggling with your skin and you're having a breakout and you're trying to control it, use your gel cleanser. And then exfoliator. There is a lot left in this. I would say almost three quarters still left. And I use this three times a week. But now I'm going to use it on my hands too, three times a week. So one of the things about getting ready for the winter is a lot of people suffer with really dry, itchy skin. And you can fix that by making sure that you take off that dead top layer. And then I would like to just do a quick shout out for Skincerity <laughs> because I, I know this is like insurance for your moisturizer and your serum. So when you put all of this gorgeous liposome high technology product on your face, you want it to stay on your face overnight and not go on your pillow. So if you're going to invest into this product and to this line, you need to make sure that you have either a Skincerity Renew or Skincerity by Lusa. And Skincerity by Lusa is your nighttime breathable barrier. And so after you do your moisturizer, let it wick in. Your skin will feel super soft and hydrated but you want to give it a couple of minutes. So by the time you brush your teeth or, you know, clip your fingernails or whatever you need to do, then you'll be ready to put on your Skincerity by Lucim. And so I went through two bottles <laughs> because I like to roll from here. So I roll my decolletage and my neck, my face, at least three layers. And now that it's really dry out and there's a lot of changes in the weather, my hands get um, dry and cracked. So I roll my fingers and my hands like right up to my cuticles. So when you roll at night, just give yourself a quick roll on your hands and go through there. You'll be surprised 
at how fast you can do a hand rejuvenation. So I'm excited to start doing um, hand before and after pictures also, just like Phyllis, she does the pinch test, one hand snappy and one hand snot. And we all can have that and shrink wrapping your neck before the holidays. I'm telling you all of those gorgeous necklines and that gorgeous jewelry that we can get through RX Diamonds. Why not? Why not be your best self? Yeah, by the way, that is not the standard cap that comes on the skin serity. Just to let those of you know, and you get yours in the package, you're going to go, wait a minute, TL had these really cool blingy caps. But anyway. Um, I'm more texting that I'm going to get a diamond studded cap from RX Diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are, because diamonds are a girl's best friend. Yes. Right? So, so I know you've been, you, oh, go ahead. Sorry. So skin serity is my best friend too. Awesome. So you uh, have been associated in the, in the industry and then associated with new serity and now RX and new age for a number of years. I mean, what do you see for the future? What's your perspective? Why are you excited right now? Hmm. Well, <laughs> It's hard to pick one thing that you could be excited about because there's just so much going on in this company and the way that um, I just absolutely adore listening to Brent Willis. He is just an incredible leader. He knows how to really get connected to your head and then bring it into your heart of the vision and purpose of this company. And I'm just really enamored by the whole idea of like being able to be an owner, buy shares in this company, and then be in a billion dollar company that has a platform with an aggressive consumer base that is going to revolutionize and allow us to capture more of the marketplace, more than we ever really do. We can comprehend at this point, but there is so much going on as far as transformations and then upgrades, just even upgrades within the product and this brand new Lucium line. And then all of the new products coming in with Miranda. I mean, it's, it is so exciting. I mean, I, I could call you um, Santa Rick, really. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, okay, I'll take it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, TL, great to see your skin looks radiant, by the way. It just looks just, not that it didn't before, and I always am careful about that, but you really, you look great. You look just different. radiant. It yeah. is so different. It's really crazy. Like, I didn't realize how much sun damage I actually had until after the 30 days and the way that the picture looks, it looks like the lighting is different, but it isn't, it's in the same background and everything. It's just that that's how much sun damage that this total face serum and all the vitamin C, it actually can, you can reverse sun damage. And, and that's one of the bragging rights with sincerity. It's the world's only breathable barrier that stops trans damage and reverses sun damage. So now we have incredible clean products to put underneath the mask. We've never had that before in the 11 years that I've been part of this company and this vision. Now it's just like this whole new game. I feel like when I look in the mirror, I feel like I'm 30. Sweet. And you're I'm only, not. You're only 32. So I did mean, good job. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm 55 years old. What? And and so in January, I'm going to be 56. So I got four more years and I'm going to be 60. So for anybody who's struggling with like looking in the mirror and saying, I'm feeling old, then this is your rescue plan. You, it will be the best money spent. Get in there and order the kit, order all of it. Take your before picture and just know without a shadow of a doubt that if they and her formulation team have worked hundreds and hundreds of hours for our benefit. Awesome. TL, thank you. Thanks for being on tonight. Great job. 
and uh, we, now we get to hear from our, our special guest and I don't know how much I can say about Dr. Fred Cooper that hasn't already been said multiple times, but I'll do what I can. First of all, let's share the slide because we prepared it. So um, Dr. Fred Cooper is now the chairman of the board. Uh, he was CEO of the company for many years, was one of the founders, uh, one of the, the brightest and um, most interesting people I've met. And uh, I'm, I'm very honored to be working for a company that he's involved with, but also honored to associate with him on a day-to-day -day basis. He's got a huge amount of integrity and uh, a man of his word, but also uh, got a bigger heart than he wants to let on. And uh, I've seen that in action too. So please welcome our chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra, no, Dr. Fred Cooper. Fred, are you there? <laughs> okay, sir, I am here. What cool. a nice, what a nice introduction. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you are that guy. Oh, I better first qualify. Um, I am not chairman of the board yet. Our deal has not gone through. But uh, once it does, I should get my rank advancement. <laughs> Perfect. So, so yeah, thank, thanks for coming on. What's it, just share what's on your mind. I know there's so much going on and you could go so many different directions, but just whatever is on your mind. Okay. Well, today I think I want to talk to you about change, right? So we just got to listen to TL talk about her change. Frankly, um, okay, I shouldn't go there, but she is not an employee of mine, so I am able to say this because her appearance has no bearing on her ability as a woman business owner. But if it did, I would tell you the woman looks awesome. And if you would have said to her, you know what, I'm going to change how you look and she gets to see her before and after, she would have said, oh my gosh, the greatest thing I ever did was start taking these products. But she had to be willing to embrace the change. And I'm telling you, the hardest thing it is for people to do is to accept change. I have been talking to all of you so many times about, oh my gosh, what's happening to Oryx, right? Is the company going to lose its name? What's happened to Limu and its products? What's going to happen to Skincerity? What's going to happen? I'll go crazy. So today, I just want to talk to you a few minutes about change. Because I'm going to tell you, the company is going through changes. And it is going to go through a lot of them. You have, haven't seen anything yet. You think you know change, but you don't. It is going to be a completely different company in one year. If you'd have said to me a year ago, I am not going to be the CEO of Rx anymore, I wouldn't have believed it. And now, sure enough, we have a change, and Brent is fantastic. If you'd have said to me, we're going to be over a half a billion in size, possibly, but now it's a reality on this close. And I'm still going to give you more news. By the end of 2020, we will double again. We will be over a billion dollars. Because I know what change is coming and what's coming down the pipe. So in all of that change, there is turmoil. What new systems? What new apps? What new products? What are the new names? So I'm going to give you a little advice, and that is change the things you can change, and don't worry about the things you can't change. Because if you sit and worry about the things that you can't change, you will waste the opportunity to change yourself. Okay, that's a lot of use of the word change, but I'm telling you, I tonight want to give you three items that I think you should strongly consider changing about yourself if you want to do this business, right? When I look at great leaders and what made them great, I see 
three common traits, and they may not be the traits that you think. I'm going to go through them. First, the best leaders I ever see are the ones who embrace change better than anyone. I see, Rick, you're nodding your head. You know it's true. When you're talking to reps who are going, oh, my gosh, what's going on, and how are you doing it, and why are you doing this, they invariably fail because they are focused on the wrong thing. We had a, a gal in Australia. I won't give her name. She had me do a webinar with her team, and she was melting down on all the changes that were coming to her market and specifically to her team. And I mean, she was having a meltdown and I was listening to all the team complain and complain and complain. I'm just sitting there. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the end, I am quite sure I offended every lady in the group because I said to him at the end, Oh, okay. I got it. Well, when you guys are ready to change and you want to focus on something other than why it is, you're failing, let's talk. But until you're willing to change and change what you focus on, you will always, always be where you're at. And you will never advance. Oh my gosh, that was the greatest thing I ever did. All you got to do is tell a bunch of 30 year old women, you can't do something. And they will prove you wrong. And they were so cocky. The next meeting we had a month later, they were the number one team in the market, growing faster than everyone. Five of their leaders had, of their seven, I believe, had rank advanced, and only two of them were very close because they were fairly high ranked. They were talking to me about how you don't know what you're talking about, Fred. Look at everything we've done. We're selling this. We're doing this. We're focused on this. We have an incentive. We want you to buy us all dinner because you were a liar. So I agreed to buy him dinner, and when I was done, you know what I said to him? Oh, by the way, um, I didn't hear one complaint about, and I won't give you what they were, I didn't hear you even mention X or Y or Z. If I'm not mistaken, you're not focused on that. You were focused on proving me wrong, and you changed your focus. I got the bird and a few gestures and a few profanities, but they all went back and were texting me later. You know what? You're right. We were focused on things we can't change and not on things we can change. And it made a world of difference. So one, embrace change. If you have trouble doing it, I want you to think of where you are today. And I'm going to threaten you. Five years from now, you're going to make the exact same amount of money that you're making now. That should scare you. Okay, maybe not TL, but for some of us, it should scare us because it's not enough. We want to do more and succeed more. So don't focus change on the unknown of what's going to happen, but rather how you can take advantage of it because there are going to be many, many advantages coming soon and I, I'm telling you you're gonna you won't believe the changes that are coming that's one okay number one is this all of my top leaders every one of them right how do I put it want everyone to succeed everyone to experience the products and have a transformation. They want everyone to be as passionate about whatever it is they're passionate about New Age Rx. They all want to get everyone that engaged. I'm going to change your thinking on this. Don't waste your time on people that take too much of your time doing nothing. You have got to change how you spend your time. It's not only on your focus, but you know something? Some people just don't want it. 
I had a son who was phenomenal at baseball. He was a great baseball player. And I realized one day the only one who wanted it was me. We got along much better when I just realized I can't make him do what he doesn't want to do. I can't make him be what I think he should be. I have to let him do it if he wants it. If you will not focus on people who don't want to build, you will find a complete change in your business. You will not be as depressed. You won't be as tired. You won't hang around negativity. You won't feel that no one's doing this business. One of the greatest things I love in doing this business is I hang around Mark Wilson all the time. I hang around a Brent all the time. When we're always talking, we're always upbeat. If there's a problem, we just figure out a way to solve it. Anytime I hang around somebody who's negative on MLM or it didn't work right or here's why it sucks or my person quit, it is nothing but an energy suck. And I had to learn to change how I perceived everyone. So number two, one, embrace change. Two, don't waste your time on people who don't want what you want and don't want to change themselves. Number three, you want to be a great leader? This is one that is very difficult for me, and you'll all smile that you know me, but I had to change my way. For those of you who know me really well, you would know I love to talk. Oh, my gosh, I can talk every minute of every day on every topic. I have an opinion about everything. I can say anything, and people have to listen to me because of my title. Well, one thing I've learned over the years was an old saying that my mother said that was pretty stupid. I thought it was cliche, but it really is true. And that is you have two ears and one mouth. The good Lord gave you that ratio for a specific reason. Listen more than you talk. Years ago, I had a friend of Mark Wilson's come to my office. He wanted to be a sales role uh, in our direct selling company. Not only that, but he had a presentation that he was going to give on his company and the tools that he could offer the company to make us a much better company. I walked into it, the meeting, and Mark was so proud of this guy. I won't give you his name, but Mark will know the, the story. And he walked in, and he was ready for his presentation. And I, I knew the guy, and I said, okay, this is your big sales guy. And he goes, oh, Fred, this guy is polished. He's smooth. He's suave. He is going to be the greatest salesmanship trainer you've ever seen. So I said, okay. All right. So I walked in, and I had 30 minutes. At the end of 30 minutes was a hard stop for me because of another in, engagement that I had. So when we got in, I saw he was all prepared. He looked the part. He was all professional. He was well prepared. He knew his material. He knew everything. So he walked in and he said, hey, do you know why I'm here? I said, yes, I know your company. Your company is XYZ. You are this big. You do this products. You do this. I talked to everything about his company. And I said, but to be honest, I'm only really interested in the following. I told him ABC. This is what I want to know about. You know what he said to me? This is Mr. Professional. Great. Okay. Then if you won't talk, if you'll just listen to me, I have my entire presentation. I'll go to that and I'll get to it. 30 minutes later, without one word from me, I stood up and said, 30 minutes are up. I have a hard stop. Next time you have a CEO walk into your room, this is going to sound rude, but if he tells you the three things that he wants to know, you might want to skip your presentation and just tell me what I wanted to know. I need to go now and walked out. How many of us are just like him? We are so in love with our products and so in love with the way we do things 
we don't don't stop talking today i've done a lot better in my life believe it or not i still love to talk but when i am meeting people introducing i had a company just today that wants to merge with us in the half hour we chatted i bet i cha- i talked 5 minutes but I learned everything about him. I learned what he was interested in, what motivated him, what was his concerns with his company, with his products, with his people. If you want to do this, we have a natural preclusivity to want to talk about us. If you don't believe me, I want you to keep track of tomorrow how many times you use the word I. Oh, I went to the store. I did this. I am going to do this. I you would be astounded how much you say I. I would give you an encouragement to change and start getting your prospects to talk. Ask open-ended questions. Listen to them. When they tell you a story, don't tell them your story that is even better. Don't one-up them on the talk. Listen to what they have to say And then meet their needs by showing them how Oryx can change their situation for the better. If you will do this, I'm telling you, you will struggle at first. But when you're done, you will be a changed person. They will feel you care more. You will change your position in Oryx because you will grow faster. And suddenly, You won't be focused on change at all. You will be focusing on helping others embrace change. And in so doing, like Oryx, that is going to go from 300 million to over a billion in a year and a half, your business will go from manager to CEO or better in the same time period. I have seen it be over and over and over again. So to all of you, embrace the change and approve I'm a changing man. This meeting usually goes to six o'clock. And for once in my life, I'm even learning to change and not take the entire allotted time, which makes the greatest change of all on your meeting this evening. Back to you, Rick. Fred, thank you. Uh, so dynamic. And I took notes. Uh, if anybody didn't get the notes, you can email me and I'm happy to send you those three points. Awesome. Uh, Fred, thank you. Thank you for your leadership and thanks for your trust. Always appreciate it. TL, what a start, man. What a way to get us started. It was so awesome. And yeah, you look awesome. You look hot. You look great. <laughs> I know. I'll ask for, sure. for that. <laughs> for sure. Um, Thanks, Dan, for being my partner in crime on the on the recognition. And Anthony, as always, um, just appreciate your co-hosting and, and helping with the call. I always end on a quote, and this is really, uh, you know, I love the way it works out. I love when a plan comes together. So here it is. This is from the Marissa Mayor, who's the president and CEO of Yahoo. I always did something I was a little not ready to do. I think that's how you grow. When there's that moment of, wow, I'm not really sure I can do this, and you push through those moments, that's when you have a breakthrough. So with that, I'll stop the recording.